dress. Now you cannot fit two of me in this dress. And I've got big news for you, big brother. I'm drinking milk. And in the next few years, it's going to give me a lot of what I need for strong bones, beautiful skin, and a healthy body. Before you know it, I'll be turning the heads of your friends. And when I do, if you're still the same little creep in a big body, I won't even acknowledge you're my brother. Milk, it does a body good. Look at the family scrapbook. <laughs> There's Cousin Louie. <gasps> Uncle Harry. What? Rabbit has lots and lots of T-R-I. Does it say tricks? I can't believe it. If Uncle Harry has lots of sweet, fruity tricks, surely he'll give me some. Hmm, Rabbit will feed her. You think he's still there? Where are you going, Rabbit? Aren't you going to ask us for some sweet, yummy tricks? No, I'm going to get my very own wonderful, colorful, sweet, yummy tricks. Lemony yellow, orangey orange, grapey purple, raspberry red. The fruity, delicious part of a complete breakfast. Yippee! Uncle Harry's still here. Wow, I've never seen so many tricks. I can't wait. I'm finally going to get to enjoy tricks. Uncle Harry has lots and lots of... Oh, no! Magic tricks? <laughs> You're expecting maybe sweet, fruity, delicious tricks? Oh, oh boy! Silly rabbit, these kind of tricks are for kids. Oh! The flea bites, the bee bites, the bark of the tree bites, the quietness of darkness, the stories told by firelight, the long night, the food bites, a summer made of memories at camp. Today we'll cover some of the more basic knots. You'll find that a knowledge of knot tying can come in mighty handy in the woods. Oh, yeah, like when, for instance? Huh? Like when, uh, well, uh, there's, well, when you're, we'll cover that lesson tomorrow. Meanwhile, we'll start with a sheepshank half-inch timber knot. Now, pay close attention. It's left over right, then up, then form a loop, and back through the loop, and now twice around, then halfway around to the left, and a double half-inch, followed by a quarter slip knot, ending with a sheepshank half-inch. And voila! There you go. <laughs> Looks more like how not to tie a knot. Well, I'm using my uh, knot tying skills to get out of this. Let me tell you a little story. <laughs> it's all about the creature from Lake Cacciatore. Far out. Is it all scaly with humongous teeth and one big bulging eye with lots of slime dripping from it? Well, no, actually, it's about an imaginary creature, which sometimes can be even more scary than real ones. I seriously doubt it. You think so, eh? Well, you listen to this. It all started one morning at breakfast. Uh, would you like a lump of sugar in your oatmeal, John? No, thanks, Nurse Molly. It's lumpy enough already. Say, uh, where's Robin? Oh, oh, well, oh, the little dear is so excited about editing the camp newspaper that uh, she sometimes forgets to eat. <laughs> Robin may be gone, but she's not forgotten. Watch this. I brought along one of her frogs. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha! Oh, Vic, you are sick! You said yourself, oatmeal masks are good for the complexion. 
Uh, John, I, I wish we could get Rick to stop those practical jokes and do something useful. Thanks, Nurse Molly. You've given me a great idea. Uh, what? Just hug and run? Me? Be a reporter? What do I write about? How about all the exciting things that are always happening here at Camp Candy? Like what exciting things? Well, like, you know, th th there's all sorts of things. Well, like, um, th you know, there's, well, first of all, the... All right, hey, let's, uh, well, um, oh, I'm sure you're gonna come up with something. Oh, gee, I don't know. Or maybe you'd rather unmess the mess hall. <laughs> okay, it's a mess. I had to do something. Robin kind of missed the mark with her first few issues. Let's buy braces for beavers. Oh, brother. Ben, pin the tail on the donkey? Give me a break. Let Santa take a taxi? Oh, please. What's wrong with those stories? The bottom line, they're boring. They are not boring. At least not if you're an animal. Oh, no. Watch this. You're right. I guess I'll never win that best camp newspaper contest. Not true, Robin. You can do anything you put your mind to. John's right. You can win in a breeze if you just ran the right kind of stories. Like how to shred a monster away. Or better yet, an article on wilderness survival. What about a fashion photo spread? I can model a few dozen of my chicest camp outfits. Or maybe a story on curing allergies through worrying. Forget that stuff. Just make sure the paper's got lots of comics. See that? Everyone is eager to help. Right, gang? No way! No way! No no way. way. Forget it! We're eager to give advice. Helping is a whole nother story. Then I guess you'd better be off to the, uh, mess hall. Uh, since you put it that way, uh, Ace Reporter Rick, at your service. Rick, there's a serious responsibility that goes along with this pencil, and that is to write only the truth. Hey, no problemo. You got my word on it. It seems that Rick had a plan to help Robin win that best camp newspaper award. Forget that. When do we get to see the creature? Soon, all right? Real soon. Just listen, will you? Whoa, babe! Say something for the big story! Bigger than an exclusive modeling session with Vanessa? Really? You'll see. 78, 79, 8, 81. Cool, Alex. You've got to help lug that dry ice down to the lake. Only 30 pounds? Nothing to it. Here, hold these. Oh, if I could hold these, I wouldn't uh, need you. Oh. Gary, isn't it? It's only some dumb thing made out of paper mache. Hey, what do you expect? The kid's only four years old. Perfect, Pinky. This sea serpent is just what we need. It's not a sea serpent. It's a moo cow. That'll be our little secret, okay? That's it. Hold it. All right, I got it. This bathing cap better not leak. I just pooped my hair. You think you've got problems? This dry ice is playing heck with my sinuses. That's a wrap, guys. Assignment sea serpent is now completed. <laughs> They finally left. Yeah. I couldn't hold my breath much longer. Now, where were we? It was your turn. You got any sevens? Go fish. I was hoping you'd say that. An actual sea serpent on Lake Hatchatory? Hmm. Where did you get this picture? Hey, our reporter never reveals his sources. Wait, our readers see Sea serpent spotted. Wow, Robin bought it. Well, dudes, we just gave Robin's newspaper career one humongous boost. But Rick, isn't this cheating? Hey, chill out, folks. Don't you want Robin to win that award? Sure we do, but fair and square, not like this. Well, it's too late now. The paper's already in circulation. Ciao. This is dreadful. Now what do we do? I say we tell Robin the truth. I don't care how much it hurts her. But it'll break her heart. Hey, if you're all too wimpy, I'll do it. Did everyone see the story about the sea serpent? Isn't it exciting? I might actually win that award after all. Oh, Robin, there's something we have to tell you. Yes? What is it? Uh, congratulations. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, great. What do we do now? 
know. Meanwhile, across the lake, Rex DeForest III was once again thinking up some crooked scheme. He's that ongoing villain, right? Yes, will you pay attention? Just, you know that already. Why would you ask me? I must find some way to get my hands on that Camp Candy property. <laughs> Chester, why are you wasting your time reading that stupid camp newspaper? Oh, it's completely neat, boss. It doesn't have any big words. <gasps> what on earth? Give me that. Sea serpent on Lake Cacciatore? Yeah, it's the kind of cover you could only get from a local paper. Sea serpent, my foot. This is nothing more than some cheaply made paper mache model. Sea serpent? Well, I thought it was a cow. The whole thing is nothing but a huge hoax. Who are you going to call? Who else? The hoax buster. You mean... Right, Gerardo Fernando. Gerardo Fernando here, world famous hoax buster. Rex DeForest III here. Have you been following the Lake Cacciatore sea serpent story? Have I ever? I'm already planning a TV special on it. Well, you're wasting your time. I have definite proof that it's all a hoax. That's better yet. I'm on my way there now with a camera crew. This is perfect! When the parents find out all this was just a cheap publicity stunt, they'll yank their little brats right out of Camp Candy! <laughs> you realize what that would mean? Oh, we'll be able to use their swimming hole? No, you amoeba brain! It means that Camp Candy will be mine at last! <laughs> There's a mystery inside every bowl of new undercover bear's oatmeal. To discover it, just stir. Bears? Undercover bears. Mmm, it's good. It's gone. Who can resist the oatmeal with soft, chewy bears that appear when you stir? Tempting maple brown sugar bears. Strawberry, too. And part of this balanced breakfast. Breakfast? There he is. I've got it! New undercover bear's oatmeal. Case closed. Sharks! 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 We're hunting for sharks with myself hungry. We're hunting for sharks only from Chef Boy IV. It's tasty pasta and tomato sauce that's a shark hunt in every bowl. Catch all three shark shapes, you win! Thank goodness for Chef Boy IV. Henry, will you please see what those boys are up to? Introducing WWF Wrestling Buddies. Wrestling Buddies from Tonka. Bonkum, bopum. Wrestling Buddies are looking for action. Hey, fellas, what's going on? Nothing, Dad. Drop it! Who do you think you are? That's Hulk Hogan! Wrestling hey, Buddies want to be your buddies. Henry, what's going on up there? Nothing, dear. WWF Wrestling Buddies, new from Tonka. Each sold separately. on the map. And best of all, Robin felt so proud. Gosh, I can't believe the story of our little newspaper could cause all this fun. Hey, Robin, I knew you'd make a great editor. And Rick, you're a pretty terrific reporter yourself. <laughs> uh, thanks, John. Isn't it a good feeling knowing you can get attention without doing practical jokes? Uh, yeah, for sure it feels great. What an occasion. Everywhere you looked, there were trucks, news helicopters, and reporters. But on the other hand, there was also... Hello, I'm Gerardo Fernando. Are you the host, uh, I mean, the host of this establishment? Yes, I'm the head counselor, and I'm certainly pleased that... He... That's nice. Follow me, fellas. Let's start looking for clues. Hello! Quick, guys, over here. I found something. There. Look what's under that bed. Uh-oh. We can't let him find that. You're right. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Hello, boy! <laughs> oh, 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 I'm a celebrity! I'm sorry, Mr. Fernando, but there are rules against entering these cabins without permission. Never mind the rules. What I'm after is right under that bunk. You mean this bunk? Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Is this what you were looking for? Gosh, I'm sorry. I'm not. You got away with it this time, Candy, but I'm not through with you yet. Got away with what? Get Jacques Trudeau here, on the double. Oh, wow! I can't believe it! Jacques Trudeau himself coming to our lake to search for sea serpent that you made up. Pretty exciting, eh, Robin? It certainly is. I'm going to write down every detail of this event so I can put it in the paper. <laughs> Who's that? That's Jacques Trudeau, the world's most famous undersea explorer. Mes amis are going to search of the mysterious creature. I wish myself a bon voyage. Uh, if you find a left sneaker down there, it's mine. Oh no, I just realized if he finds a sea serpent, to lock him up in some awful aquarium, won't he? Well, yes, Robin, I, I suppose so. And it's all my fault for printing the story. But you were only reporting what happened. That's what reporters are supposed to do. Then I never want to write another newspaper story again. Robin! Hey, wait! Oh, great. Things are going from bad to worse. Listen, Rick. Maybe it's time you came clean. Not yet, Judith. I'm working on a backup plan. It was midday nap time for the campers. Poor Rick's conscience wouldn't let him sleep. 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 Here's our little victim now. No, you got the wrong guy. Roll tape. Roll tape. something he said, like, there's a sea serpent in the lake. Rick, I say it's time we blew the whistle on this entire scam. Don't panic, people. I know a totally tubular <laughs> way to convince folks there really is a catchatory creature. You do? How? Simple, my man. We're gonna build one. Oh, boy. Another moo cow. But what if someone finds out we borrowed the flat boat? They'll never miss it. Okay, guys, bring on the sea serpent. Some arrangement. The men give the orders, while the women and the children do the work. On the other hand, you'll be the first ones off if it starts to sink. Okay, Alex, lower the sides. Roger will go. Ta-da! I'll take over from here. Now she can be seen in public. <laughs> you just broke the first rule of working on a ladder. You never step back to admire your work. Okay, crew, we're approaching the pier. Let's maintain proper sea serpent speed, Alex. I hope you realize I'm missing my daily five-mile bike ride for this. Suddenly there it was, a catchatory creature. Ah. And a magnificent beast it was, too. Keep it in focus, you bozos! This is award-winning footage! Imagine Camp Candy has its very own sea serpent. Nurse Molly, this could make world headlines. Oh, maybe we could adopt the little thing as a camp mascot. Adopt a sea serpent? Of course, adoption is a lot easier if you're <laughs> married. Well, not necessarily. I, I, I believe there's another whole school of thought on that <laughs> subject. Um, is someone calling me right now? I think they are. I, I, I've got to get going. <laughs> Ooh. All right, gang. 
We pulled it off. Next trip, five o'clock. I've got news for you. That was the final voyage of the good ship catch a toy creature. My legs are gone. Listen, Deeds, at least we helped Robin cop that award. But I'm still not sure that mine is the way to earn it. Aha, so there is no sea serpent after all. There isn't? No, Jimbo, the whole thing is a complete fake. And now that I have the proof, it will be the end of Can Candy. <laughs> the third had found the fake sea serpent and he was peddling it to shore to show the world. Chester's the one who's peddling. Rest is the guy reading the map. Oh, all right, so it was. Big deal. Picky, picky, picky. <laughs> Meanwhile, the campers were headed back to their cabins when suddenly... Scope it out. Someone's taking off with our sea serpent. How rude. Who'd do a thing like that? Well, this is one thing they can't blame on you, right, Binky? Binky? Binky! Oh, no. What am I going to do? I left Binky in the sea serpent. Binky? Inside a sea serpent? Uh, 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 call 911. Uh, get a stomach bump. Uh, get, get, get a bit of water. Boil some water. Do something. Why am I still standing here? What? what, what, what? John, the creature's in the We built it ourselves. I did makeup. We just wanted to help Robin win that camp newspaper award. We'll discuss this later. Right now, we've got to rescue Binky. <laughs> Hi, mister. We go for another ride? Uh, hey, look, boss. Yeah, I stole away. It's one of the camp candy kids. Perfect. When Gerardo Fernando learns that Counselor Candy has endangered one of his own campers, it'll be adios, camp candy. Oh, booey. Does that mean we're not going to make him walk the plank? Hurry, kids, come on, get aboard. Gosh, won't Mr. Trudeau be mad when he finds out we board his submarine? We, we can't ooh, worry about that now. Binky comes first. Ugh. Besides, the, the French are, are very gracious people. She got a dog. How dare you take my submarine? Sorry, Mr. Trudeau, but this is an emergency. <laughs> wow. These, are, these things are a lot cozier than I thought. <laughs> oh, wow. Check out this truly Mondo control panel. Better not touch anything, Rick. Those are extremely delicate instruments. <laughs> this. Robin didn't know this whole thing was a scam. Thanks for trying, Rick, but it's my fault. I should have checked the facts first. Judge, you mustn't blame Robin, or Rick, or any of these kids. Sure, they made up the entire story, but they did it for the very best reason of all, to help out a friend. True as that is, I'm afraid I can't, in all fairness, give her the award. Oh. Oh, but I can give her this special medal. For being so honest. All right, be honest. I'm through with new exclusive exposés. This is my true purpose in life. Showing the goodness and humanity of people. That was it, and things returned to normal. Well, kind of normal. But it, we 
We've been monitoring your radio waves, and uh, you seem like a friendly enough planet to us. If you'd like, we'd be happy to give you both an exclusive interview. No way, Jeeves. We've had important news stories. Our new skipper has already been put to bed. I told you we should have called ahead first. great hour of Nintendo excitement. It's the Captain N, the Game Master and Adventures of Super Mario Brothers fun-filled hour, coming up next only on NBC. Sometimes I wonder if I'm getting through to them. Brian, am I getting through to you? The only things that matter to them are Godzilla, basketball, and chocolate. Not that I have anything against Godzilla or basketball. Or chocolate. I drink Yoo-Hoo. It's a delicious chocolate snack with vitamins and minerals. Ready, go! It's one thing we have in common. The only thing. Yoo-Hoo. A cool way to do chocolate. There's something new in Gotham City. It's Batman! Like you've never seen him before. Figures and vehicles sold separately. Why she does, Batman. My tech shield suit protects me. Even against this sludge? Your poison can't hurt my tech shield suit. Bye, Batman. Think again, Joker. Fly, Batcopter. Fire! Damn! Ah, where does it get these great weapons? You're finished, Joker. Batcopter, part of Batman, the Dark Knight collection. Tech shield, Batman, and Joker sold separately. I'm a Teddy Bear. The Campbell kids call me Ted. He's got a great new suit. Mm-hmm, like he said. It's a suit full of bears, a Teddy bowl full of fun. Gonna make your mouth happy, dear. The baby, baby, everyone. A Teddy Bear. Mm-hmm, Teddy Bear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, good. Ooh, Teddy Bear suit from Campbell's. I'm the bear in there. Chocolate box from Hershey. Naturally nutritious with that unmistakable Hershey taste. (laughs) Hershey's genuine chocolate drink. Watch me trick Fred. Greetings from the future. I gotta bring back something super chocolatey. Take my cocoa pebbles. Ooh, cosmic cocoa taste. Time to go. Morning. <laughs> history, Fred. Pops Pebbles cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. You ever have a delicious? And now, Captain N and the Adventures of Super Mario Brothers Three. When my father disappeared and Mother Brain tried to take over Video Man, our only hope lay in an ancient prophecy that a great warrior from another world would come to our rescue. I'd 
admit, I was a bit skeptical when Kevin showed up. But now, I don't know how we'd ever get along without him. It is a legend no one will forget. Everyone thought King Koopa had left the Mushroom Kingdom. And then, his doom ship attacked. King Koopa was back with the greatest danger ever known. His Koopa kids. Using their new superpowers, the Super Mario Brothers rescued Princess Toadstool and beat back the evil Koopa family. I'll get the flutters! We'll be back! Golden sweets, honey treats, bunch and make the fun to eat. That's why we all love our honey gold! Tripping old ladies. Uh-uh. No fun of any sort for a whole month. How'd I end up with such a mean old ugly bag of scales for a dad? Of course. That's it. What's it? Dad's not my real dad. He must be adopted. I am far too beautiful to be a Koopa. You know, Big Nose, I bet our real dad is a movie star. Yeah! Someone magnificent like we are! Let's go find him! Give up, Mario! There aren't any fire flowers! Not here! Get down! <laughs> oh, a fire flower? Hey, thanks, little buddy! This makes my day! Not for long! Look! Koopa's doom ship! Yeah! We want our claw print 
in the Walk of Fame. And it's your responsibility as our parents to make it happen. It is? Okay, I want my kids to be happy. This is your glamorous Hollywood kingdom? No time to admire the scenery, Princess. We've got to find those Koopalings. Whoa! Who's that? Madzilla! You remember Mario? We used to watch him on the Midnight Movie back in Brooklyn. We better want him. He's in dangerous company. Madzilla! The Mario Brothers! Soon to be the miserable brothers. <laughs> I never did anything to them they didn't deserve. I crossed my overalls and, uh... Well, lucky I kept this fire flower. <laughs> ah! That hurts! Back off, Natsuma! Big Mouse, we got to help Daddy! Uh-oh! My fire powers are gone! Pieces, neck pieces, hair pieces, ah. Reese's pieces, eye pieces, nose pieces, all pieces, Reese's pieces, three pieces, two pieces, one pieces, Reese's pieces, sign pieces, center pieces, mantle pieces, Reese's pieces, chest pieces, gold pieces, silver pieces, Reese's pieces, the famous flavor of Reese's peanut butter in a fun candy shell. You love them to pieces. Ronald McDonald in a new do. Maybe I could use a new hairstyle. What do you think, Birdie? Let me try a few things. Oh, huh. Cool. Tis I, Sir Ronald. It's you. Birdie, this style really is me. Everybody loves it. We sure do, Ronald. <laughs> nice, too. in Hollywood, and we can't do a thing to stop them. The whole real world is in danger. Not sure we can. Look. Oh, hey! Mario, got a facelift. Hey, this is no time for jokes. Mario, we're in big trouble. This place is crammed with parts of old movie monsters. Not for long, big little brother. Look, we can build our own movie monsters, starting with her. Hey, I remember her. Revenge of Mazzilla's mom, right? I just love family reunions. <sighs> you can't sleep now, Dad! We want to do a live concert in the Hollywood Bowl right now! Boy, having kids can be a real pain.
Mama Mozilla, on to the main event! Launch and load Seaport and Coastal Cutter, each sold separately from Lego. You look nice, boss. Shut up, Chip. It's a disguise to get some cookie crisp cereal. Please watch my baby, Mr. Cookie Cop. Certainly. Cookie crisp. Oh, no. Oh, yes, Miss Cookie Crook. Cookie crisp cereal is part of this complete breakfast. That's the way the cookie crook crook. And you'll want to be with Yo Yogi. Smarter than the average bear. Next Saturday on NBC. Yes, 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 yes! Come here, 
Yesterday was St. Cubic's Day, and tomorrow is All Squares Day, but today is open. Splendid! Then let's declare today Her Royal Roundness Day. <laughs> Hooray for the Royal Roundness! Hooray for the Royal Roundness! Hey, it couldn't hurt to hang out for a while. I knew you'd square around. My father used to tell me stories about Tetris when I was a little girl. far from the palace that it never joined the fight against Mother Brain. But aren't you afraid of Mother Brainicus? Oh, who's Mother Brainicus? He doesn't know Mother Brain? Pop in. I'll give you the grand tour. Everyone get squared away. It's a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Scursley, wouldn't your car run smoother if the wheels were round? Of course, but it just wouldn't fit in. Everything on Texas is made of squares. What's that mega big building? That's the chamber of Texas where we keep the sacred square. Legend says that the sacred square is so powerful that it built our whole world of Texas. Awesome! Maybe that's the energy source that pulled down our ship. Can we see this sacred square? I'm sorry, your curviness. The Chamber of Tetris is locked to all but the keepers of the square. Yeah, and after we find it, we're gonna keep it. <laughs> Is 
You've got to square up and stop playing around with these silly toys. Yes, sir, Mr. Block. That is, if you want to fit in and be a true square. Yes, sir, I, I know, sir. Smart. <laughs> Eggplant to Mama Brain, we found the power source. Well, quit gardening and bagging. If a single square can build an entire world, just think what it can do for me. Welcome to QB's, home of the best square meal in town. <laughs> Initiating program to input data on Square World. Hey, open the door! My coat's stuck! Whoa! <laughs> Got a new Tetris robot? Not robot. Game computer. Arrived with round companion. Like you. Like me? A Tetris? <laughs> no way. Affirmative. This way. Oh, like that round face is a ton of blockoid. Yeah, he's the cubiest. <laughs> This is the last time I order a brick burger. And now, here they are, the blockheads! Actually, I... Uh, maybe later. Come on down. No! Party tonight. I game if you are. It has shaped so fine. If you've got the angle, I've got the time. It's a block party, baby. Block party, yeah, baby. Yeah, a block party, baby. Block party, baby. Come on down. Ooh, I'm in cute oh, heaven. <laughs> Oh no, it's Lana. I can't let her see me. Let's get that to side. Come on, we gotta get that key. Let's dance. Whoa! But I'm leading. Geometry, trigonometry. Get the key this time, Egg Face, or I'll squish your squad! Okay, okay! Come on down to a rock party! Ah, I got it! I got the key! Come on down!
Magic Copier comes with all you see. Batteries not included. New from Tyco. Fruit by the foot? The fruit snack gets three long feet of fruity fun. Wow! Never heard about it till at the mall. I was looking for a record. You have Boogie by the Bay. No, Fruit by the Foot! My turn to say. Stop in at the pet shop. You have Puppies by the Pair. No, Fruit by the Foot! The answer there. At the movies, kids are reading it everywhere. Don't you go by the script in this scene? No, we go by Fruit by the Foot! Came from the screen. There was only one thing to do. Joining the three long feet of Fruity Fun too. My zapper! Way to go, boy! Uh, uh, Who started all this? Looking for these? Yeah, thanks. Lyle? Is that you? <laughs> yep, that's you, all right. And you haven't changed a bit, big brother. Maybe I don't want to change. Maybe I like myself just the way I am. Even if you never did. Lyle, that's not true. <laughs> Your graceful, this is actually related to this class. <laughs> yes, but I haven't seen him in two years. Have you been here all this time? Father and I have been so worried. I'm sorry, but I wanted to live my own life. So, uh, how is Father? I don't know, Lyle. He's missing thanks to Mother Brain. Oh, Lana. I should have been there. Don't worry. The engine will bring him home. Speaking of home, what are you doing in a Squaresville place like this? I like Tetris. I have friends here and an important job. My key! It's gone! Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Guess you were right the first time, Lana. I haven't changed. I'm not much good as a prince. Or a keeper of the sacred square. Hey, don't be so hard on yourself, dude. Kevin's right, Lyle. You must believe in yourself before anyone else will. Do you really think so? There's only one way to find out.
Make yourselves at home. I'll be right back. I just have to lock my Tetris key in the safe. <laughs> my tomato bomb will turn this safe into chopped cabbage. Chunk of easy chewing bubble yum bubblegum. And this is Reggie, a land roving turtle from the island of Galapagos. Both are big, but only one is soft. Big soft chunk bubble yum keeps it pop. This is a chunk of super soft bubble yum bubblegum. This is a loud thumping tune pumping boom box. Both are known for blast. But all the yum is the fun that never blows out. Big mouth busting bubble yum keeps it popping. Oh, I love the ocean breeze. Uh oh Oh, no! I'm sunk! Hey, this starfish likes me, Star Balloon. And we like your lucky charm. Because it's got new Star Balloon marshmallows. Wow, two marshmallows in one. Mmm. It's the doubly delicious part of this complete breakfast. Hi, but I've got to get back home. I mean, magic doesn't work underwater. Kids, is there any way Lucky can get home? There's a clue in every Star Balloon marshmallow. It wasn't right. Then again, uh, maybe it was. To my father's safe return. To King, King Charles. Until then, I've decided to take my rightful place as ruler of Video Land. What? I mean, that's a wonderful while. Glad you approve, sis. I'll pack my things. What's wrong, Lana? Isn't that what you wanted? Looking like a king is one thing. Being a king is another. Lyle just isn't ready for that kind of responsibility. Out of my way, spinach breath! This calls for hippo power! We got the key! Now let's get out of here! I'll show them how ready I am to be. Key, you thieving scoundrels! <laughs> Who's gonna make us string bean whip like you? <laughs> That's a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> On guard, you knaves! Sounds like mega trouble. It's Eggplant Wizard and King Hippo. They've got Lyle's key. Yeah, and finders keepers. <laughs> We can't let Mother Brain get her tentacles on the sacred square. Help! Let me out of here! Lying down on the job, I see. Are you all right, Lyle? No, I'll never be all right. All I'll ever be is a loser. Don't say that, Lyle. We can still get the key back. You get it back. I'd just be in the way. Oh, what do you know?
If she warps out of here with the square, Tetris is doomed. The bridge is falling down. We're trapped. No! Uh-huh. Hey, look! Squares controlling the block! With this kind of power, Video Land is mine for the taking! Uh-oh! You got company, your braininess! <laughs> no big team first will never get across without no sacred square! Heads up, everybody! Whoa, this is getting hairy. My tightrope arrow will get us to the other side. Now. She's not getting away that easy. Time to seal your face, Captain Nitwit! She's closing the tunnel on us. We can't all make it through in time. It's up to you, Kevin. I'll have the power die. I'll get that right, Master. It is the last thing I do! We'll never catch Mother Brain this way. We need a shortcut. Whoa! Stay, dude. That next step is a whopper. We're gonna have to jump for it. I hope I've got enough power to pull this one off. Look! There's the warp out of this crazy world! I'm gone! The power is mine! The power belongs to Tetris. And I'm taking it back. Ah! I can't see! But we can. This way! Well, I guess it's now or never, boy. Thank you for saving Tetris on the Sacred Square. I know, we'll declare a holiday. Uh, thanks, Mira Squaresley, but we really gotta fly. Are you sure you won't come home with us, Lyle? We can rule Video Land together. Thanks, sis. The Tetris needs someone to stand up to Mother Brain. <laughs> I guess I'm elected. Pretty Crimpin' Curl has hair that's easy to style and stays like magic. Pretty Crimpin' Curl's got a new kind of hair. It's easy to curl or braid everywhere. Pretty Crimpin' Curl, do it up and then. It'll stay like magic till you do it again. You don't need heat for these hot looks. Hey, Lizzie, it looks just like you. Pretty Crimpin' Curl, let's get styling, girl. Xavier Roberts Pretty Crimpin' Curl from the Cabbage Patch Kids each purchase separately with all these styling tools. Hi, Joe. Hi, Flo. What do you know? I flowers won't grow. Did you try a hoe? No. How about a mow? No. Oh, I know. Whoa! They just needed time to grow. Ah, McDonald's has four activity books about the rainforest. One with each Happy Meal you buy. Like a painting book or a sticker book. Ah! Polly want a Happy Meal? Yeah! Aha! McDonald's discovered the rainforest Happy Meal. Back to our show. Oh, 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 
Dorothy, it's time the princess needs someone to deliver a million gold coins to the mushroom orphanage. Oh, I'm on vacation. Just follow my plan, Cheeksy, my boy, and we'll be rolling in easy money. Oh. Easy money? Mm, not this money. It's flying the Koopa. King Dad, speaking of easy money... If you ever want to be as crummy and low-down a villain as me, you gotta shut up and pay attention. Uh -oh. But King Dad, there's some easy money right over... Mm, 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 mm. Loudmouth, flea brain. You couldn't see a million gold coins right in front of your sniveling little snout. Yikes. What? Sorry, King Dad, but we all can't be as smart as you are. Oh, oh, I'd be glad to hand over this money. A million gold coins. Big responsibility. Without this money, we'd have to close the orphanage. You wouldn't have a home. Sweet dreams, Toad. <laughs> huh? Someone stole the coins right out from under me. Koopa, that creep, he's the only one mean enough to swipe money meant for orphans. How can I face those poor kids? I just have to make that money back some way. Mm, but how? Doesn't that Koopa Creek know about trash cans? Mushroom Wrestling Federation presents Tag Team Wrestling Tournament. Eh, whoop de doo <laughs> First prize, a million gold coins! whoop de doo Team. Hmm. I got it! I can't tell the princess I'm too ashamed, so I really need you guys to be in this tournament. Sure, I'll do it. Right, Jake? Anything for a favorite half pint cousin. Huh? Where'd the little squirt go? I'd like to enter my team, the Mushroom Marauder and Jake the Crusher. Soon to be the Marshmallow Marauder and Jake the Crushed Fungus. Say it like I told you to say it, Cheeksy. I want to register my team, the Sledge Brothers. No fair, Cheeksy. You took our place in line. We'll show them their place, cuz. <laughs> Get off, you big oafs! Hey, save it for the match! That's when you need to beat these guys. You really want to win this thing, don't you? We gotta win it. We just gotta! Whoa! <laughs> Too bad, King Dad. Looks like your scheme to win the prize money won't work as easy as you thought. Then you make it work. Getting very sleepy. You are completely <laughs> under my power. You will do exactly what I say. You cannot wake up for two whole days. Understand? Yes. Rise and shine. Today's the big match.
silly old wrestling match. What's that compared to the really important things, like... like feeding those poor mushroom orphans? <laughs> What's that all about? I've never seen Toad so upset. I don't know. I'll talk to him. <laughs> Toad, I know this means a lot to you, but why the waterworks? You know all that money I was supposed to deliver to the orphanage? Yeah? <laughs> I fell asleep and Cooper stole it! <laughs> oh, no! I better tell the princess! No, Mario! She trusted me and I let her down! I thought I could make it up to her if my cousins won the prize money! <laughs> Now all those poor orphans will go hungry! <laughs> we can fix that, right, big little brother? We used to wrestle back in Brooklyn! Hey, whoa! I, 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 I'm not volunteering to wrestle the Sledge Brothers! Right! I'm volunteering for you! Beat the mask mashers of mayhem! Don't worry, my mushroom pal. We're gonna win those orphans all the money they need. Hey, the problem is, do the Sledge Brothers know that? And now, for the main event, the Super Slob Sledge Brothers voices the mass mashes of mayhem! The mass mashes of mayhem? Never heard of them. The Mario Brothers? This is perfect. The Sledge Brothers will make them the Squashed Brothers, and those million gold coins will be mine. <laughs> Do some cheating, Cheapsy. But I've already set booby traps all over the ring. Well, cheat some more. Hey, who did that? Whoa! My lap, lover, or I'll charge a wreck. Thanks 
wedding gown, she marries Prince Eric. And all the excitement of Ariel's dinner at Eric's palace and under the sea adventures can be yours with wonderful new costume sets. You can make them all a part of your world. The new Little Mermaid dolls, Ariel dolls, Eric, and costume sets all sold separately. No Dino Pebble cereal with marshmallows. The Dino is a real rat, dude. No Dino Pebble cereal. They got his attitude. Marshmallow to the Dino's purple, orange, red, green, vanilla flavored cereal. What a team! Marshmallow Dino Legend! <laughs> Dino, stop licking my face! New Dino Pebbles! Mmm, Marshmallow Dino Licious! Part of this nutritious. Perfect play! To the Dino! Sunday night, don't miss a special preview of NBC's new Saturday morning cartoon lineup. It's NBC's world premiere cartoon spectacular, Sunday. And next Saturday, tune into NBC and you'll see all new cartoon adventures and fun. Next Saturday, only on NBC. Lights up two different ways when you tilt her head. Batteries not included. All dolls sold separately. You can get the picture. You can get the star. Barbie. You can get into Barbie trading cards. So fun to collect. Here's what you do. If you get a pack of cards, there's a poster you can match them to. Barbie's on every card. Show them to your friends. It'll be so cool. Let's trade cards after school. 298, 299, 300 Barbie trading cards. Yours and mine. I better help. Tempt your tummy with Honey Nut Cheerios? Wouldn't you rather have the taste of golden honey and crunchy nuts? Mmm, <laughs> part of your complete breakfast. It's Honey Nut Cheerios. Meep, meep. Go ahead, ring the bell. Greetings, Earthling! Well, oh, aren't you kids cute? We're the mission from Mars! We've come to save our Halloween! We want the best candy on Earth. Can you help us, ma'am? Well, you're a little early for Halloween, but... <laughs> M&M's! Wow! Our favorites! By the way, I love your costumes! All right, guys! Only yeah. five million houses to go! Will the mission from Mars save their Halloween? You can find out October 30th!
take a seat, yeah, we're dying to meet ya. Go with the spirit and chillin' and cheering from Anything, man? Yes. Uh, which CDs are on sale? Hey, anyone you want, man. Maybe Mr. Schneider would like the new Julio. To all the ghouls I've loved before, Dolly. Barbarama said, now this is music. The bleeding ulcers. Gee, I don't think Mr. Schneider's into them, dudes. Schneider, you know what, Cleo? I'm shopping for doozer. What kind of bag? Paper or plastic? Ah! You got it! Do I get some great tunes or what? Doozer! We're supposed to be shopping for Mr. Schneider! Shopping? Great idea! Don't forget, we're all chipping in for his gift! Let's try Gadgeteria. They're bound to have something useless and expensive for Mr. Schneider. But what about a pair of these windshield wiper glasses? I think he'd much rather have this auto groomer. <laughs> Let's see what this baby can do. Oh! I love the eyebrows, but the lipstick has got to go. Hey, Mr. Schneider might like this. A handy mic. You're traveling through another dimension, not only of sight and sound, but of useless products. There's a signpost up ahead. You're leaving the gadget zone. Well, perhaps Mr. Schneider would enjoy one of these domesticated symbiotic canine companions. Beam me up, Reg, huh? Ah! Uh, wait. Well, I guess a pet's out of the question. Hey, yo, Schneider's already got a teacher's pet. You, Reg, huh? Hey, dudes, long time no pizza. Maybe I can score a garbage pie here. Whoa, this menu's in Martian. It's in French, you heathen. <laughs> you won't find a pizza in there. Hey, but we found the perfect gift. We can treat Mr. Schneider to a fancy birthday dinner here at La Hot Pants. I must advise you, this French eatery is très expensive. But they serve snails, man. And they ought to serve us. Okay, Sid, pass the hat. I'm in and I'm out of here. Get up, you man. Wait for me. Here, now I must hurry back and finish my dress. This meal better be worth it. 
Yo, I'm in. Should I make the check out to you, Cleo? See you around, sweetheart. Don't spend it all in one place. Well, it looks like everyone's paid up. Everyone except my good friend, Doozer. Doozer, we found a present from Mr. Schneider. Who cares? Look what I found. Are these killer boots or what? And check out these earrings. Great. Now where's the money for Schneider's present? Money? Uh, I guess I kind of spent it. Well, I guess you won't be joining us for Mr. Schneider's dinner party. A party? Without the dues? Get a concept. I'll come up with the cash. Trust me. Oh. Killer dress alert. Down, doozer. You're broke, remember? Not for long. I've got an idea. I don't want to hear it. Ha, 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 la, 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 la. Isn't there a cash prize at that fashion show Blanche has been babbling about? Yeah, but the rules say you gotta sew your own outfit. Hey, who do I look like, Betsy Ross? We just buy this dress, we use it to win the fashion show prize, we get enough money for me to go to Schneider's dinner, then we return the dress for a full refund and we get back the class's money. Are we brilliant or what? Why do you keep saying we? Because we're in this together, good buddy. Together? Doozer! Times have I told you not to keep sugar cubes in your locker? Mm. You know how it attracts ants. Help me! So, class, what other types of animals help us have better lives? JP, can you think of any? Um, let me see. Leeches. I'm very close to my leeches. Hey, yo, what about vampire bats? Nothing better for lowering high blood pressure. If you'll get my point, will you? Uh, unfortunately, I think I do, Vinny. But I was thinking more along the lines of this animal. Looks like a weasel to me, man. Close, Frankentike. It's a mongoose. In India, it helps control the population of poisonous snakes. <laughs> Sorry about that, Doozer. But don't worry, the only mongooses around here are locked up in the city zoo. Now you tell them. Deuce is the one that should be locked up. She almost made me ruin my fashion show entry. That's lunch, kids. But don't forget the fashion show in the cascateria, where our own Blanche will be competing for that hefty cash prize. Oh, I don't care about any old money. I'm more concerned with making a fashion statement. All we're concerned about is the money, right, Cleo? Careful with that dress, Doozer. Ooh, how did I ever let you talk me into this? And now here's Arthur May Centauri, modeling a sporty riding ensemble with color-coordinated boots and an adorable ponytail. Ooh, that Alpha May. Talk about a clothes horse. And here's our own Blanche, showing off her handmade shroud skirt with tarantula twim. It's a look. No seven every thought would be caught dead with her. Here she is, Miss Zombie America. Thank you, Blanche, dear. Uh, thank you, Blanche. Blanche, get off. Hey, Mr. Schneider. Today I'm serving a feast even you can't resist. Why don't you try some of my red ant antipasto? Or a little buzzard beak stew. Can't get any fresher than that. Can I pour you a bowl? Oh, no thanks, Sal. I'm brown bagging it today. Oh. Just remember, dudes, the second you're off the runway, we return the dress and get the class's money back. Trust me, we can't lose. And here's Natasha Nikinski in the height of fashion, wearing her blood-red, crisp-length evening gown. Tell us, dear, where did you get that matching mongoose stole? Actually, darling, I swiped it from the zoo. Ah, uh, matching stolen mongoose. Mongoose? Oh, no! Now those girls are really into 
of my food. Hey, how am I supposed to get up there and win looking like this? Yeah, and how are we supposed to return that dress looking like that? I learned down under, which is where that sky is going. Uh -oh. <laughs> Cabin Crunch is a tasty part of a balanced breakfast. You don't have to go to the Australian Outback for a boomerang. You can get one from Cabin Crunch cereal and play Outback in your own yard. This is my backyard. There's one of four colorful boomerangs in each specially marked box of Cabin Crunch. Gold paint used for TV. What a glow! Where is the Barbie? Oh, what a glow! Barbie, Christie, and Midge dolls, each with glow in the dark change around fashions. All dolls sold separately from Mattel. Hidden in specially marked candy snacks, eight packs is the handy snack. Into the win game. Take a peek inside and you'll find a pull and win card. You could win a $500 or a $100 gift certificate at Toys R Us. Good for anything you want. For a free game card right. Handy snacks. P.O. Box 4529, Blair, Nebraska 68009. Thousands will play, hundreds will win. Handy snacks plus the instant win game. All in this innocent looking little box. Let me say you all did a great job drawing up your family trees. First up, our own everyman, Frankentike. And after looking at his family tree, I can finally say I know where he's coming from. Good job, Vinny. This goes right to the heart of the Stoker bloodline. Hey, thanks, Teach. I really had to dig for some of that info, huh? Reggie, of course, did his usual thorough job. Every werewolf under the sun, uh, uh, the moon, is present and accounted for. Well, actually, Mr. Schneider, sir, lack of space required me to delete an entire wolf pack of second cousins. I'll use a wider screen next time, Reg. And I'm sure we're all familiar with Cleopatra's proud history of never making it to class on time. Oops. I'm late, right? Yes, but not as late as your friend Doozer. Know where she is? No. Uh, yes. I, I mean, no. I, I mean, she's working. That's good news. On her family tree, I hope. Uh, right. She's trimming it. Hmm. Well, in the meantime, let's take a look at Gil's family tree. Or should I say wreath? Uh, that'll be Theater 37, up the stairs and a half mile down. Sounds like a better stock up for the trip. An extra large tub of popcorn, miss. Is that it? For what? No, I'll take some yogurt duds, juicy bears, a double licorice log, and two bags of sugar juice. Oh, and, um, a diet cola. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Is 
this your idea of courteous service? Making our customers faint? No, wife. The blimp went down his own. And it's not the multi-multiplex attitude. You're fired. Oh. I know you will be very happy working here at Fatima's Hair and Nail Palace. Fatima knows how to take care of her people. Now, Dooza, you are one of my people. Great, then maybe you could loan one of your people some money. Ha, ha, ha. No loan. Work first, pay later. And Fatima's people start out at the bottom with the toes. And make sure you get all the lint out from underneath the toenails. Whoa! This bag's feet smell worse than Tutner's breath. Ah! Ah! Did those feet stink or what? You are no longer one of my peoples. Out, out, out! This doesn't look good, dudes. It's already four. I'm running out of time. And places to work. So you want to wrangle grub at Snakey Pete's Burger Fit, eh, little cowgirl? I gotta admit, girly, that their snake wig is a mighty fine gimmick. Oh, what the hold down? You're hired. Great. You won't regret it, partner. Whoa, simmer down, little filly. You can't work at Snakey Pete's looking like that. Just trot on back and tell Lurleen to fix you up ranch style. Okay, class, bring your quizzes up as soon as you're finished. Don't tell me you guys are done already. We are now, man. Okay, well, maybe a pop quiz was a little rash. I, I mean, I'm only human. This isn't funny, kids. I smell something burning, and it better not be me. Happy birthday, Mr. Schneider. Oh, how'd you kids find out it was my birthday? You shouldn't have. And I sincerely mean that. How do you like your cake, Mr. Schneider, sir? Blanche made it by hand. So I see. Thanks, Blanche. I really appreciate this. You should, Mr. Schneider. I don't make my compost layer cake with toxic frosting for just any old person. Lucky me. Come on, Mr. Rice, blow out the candle. <gasps> Yo, better try again, Peach. Whoa! I trust you remembered to make a wish. I did. <sighs> and it was just answered. Have a good weekend, gang. I'm out of here. Hey, not so fast, Teach. We're not through with you yet. Somehow, I knew that. That's right. The gala birthday fun is just beginning for our grand prize winning teacher, Mr. Max Schneider. Yeah, we've got one gnarly surprise planned for you tonight, teacher dude. <laughs> you mean besides being bound, gagged, and blindfolded? Oh, the fun's just begun. Yeah, but it's gonna be a barrel of laughs if Doozer doesn't get back with the money. So what are we waiting for, man? Let's cut the cake. <laughs> Triple Alamo burger with bacon, cheese, guacamole, and sprouts. Hey, how about hosing down this burger with a little ketchup and mustard, Missy? Tarnation! You're mighty quick on the draw, little lady. Catch! Thanks, partner. Is this a great job or what? Yes, ma'am, there's gold in them our tips. You'll strike the rich once the dinner stampede commences. I hope it commences soon. I'm running out of time. Well, you won't be running out of guacamole. Here. It's nothing new, but it's for me. Chocolate when it's a Hershey bar. Oh, Hershey bar. Something perfect just the way they are. The taste of chocolate when it's Hershey bar. The great American chocolate bar. What are we into? Looking hot as sports. All stars Barbie. Working out like mad. Snacks, anyone? All-Stars Barbie, the secret 
All Stars Barbie doll, Friends and Sports Club each sold separately. You put club together from Mattel. With my book of magic, I'll make a new batch of lucky charms. The delicious part of me can beat breakfast. A touch of magic. Wow. Ah, I use too much magic. Now my marshmallow colors are all mixed up. Blue hearts, green moons, purple stars. And I can't read the book to fix them. Kids, you've got to help me before these mixed up marshmallows get into me lucky charm cereal. They already are. Kids, you can get your own box of mixed-up Lucky Charms and help Lucky fix up the mix-up. Help me, I mean, Lucky Charms will stay mixed up forever. Back to our show! Hey, kids, is the blindfold really necessary? Yo, we got the idea from your class on the French Revolution. This wouldn't be some silly guillotine joke, would it? No way, man. This is much better. All right, Teach. Prepare for the big unveiling. A French restaurant? What a relief. Uh, uh, surprise. You want to see surprise? Where do we get the bill? Where is that doozer? I'm touched, kids. But isn't this place kind of expensive? Oh, we all chipped in, Mr. Schneider, sir. It was Cleo's idea. Mr. Schneider's right. Maybe this place is too expensive. My fault. Let's go. Hey, Teach. Don't worry about nothing. We got it covered. Yo, Garcon, party on nine for Dinois and make it snappy, eh? Huh? Do you have the reservations? Well, uh... uh... Yes, we do, Mr. Maitre d', sir. I specifically made them myself under the name Mr. Schneider, sir. So you did. Very well. Walk this way. If you say so, man. Hey, these lobster dudes say they're on death row. Totally bogus. Come on, Gil, before somebody mistakes you for the catch of the day. I'm gonna get you, Lucas! No, you're not! Come on, you can't come get on, me! Come. No way! Bang, bang! You're dead! You got that right, hot dog. <laughs> but I never. Don't expect a tip from me, young lady. Get a life and a new kid while you're at it. <gasps> oh, no, it's after seven, and I don't have enough money to pay Cleo back yet. I've got to warn her and buy some time. Hey, look, me. I'm a woman. Frank and Ty, please take the breadsticks out of your nostrils. Ugh, those disgusting people are making me lose my appetite. Well, I haven't lost my appetite, raisin face. What you eating? I'll check it out, little dude. <laughs> well, I'm hungry. I want snails now. Put that away, JP. They provide knives and forks here. Cleo, over here. Huh? Over here. New outfit? Where's the money? Here, I'm working on the rest. Keep stalling. You're joking, right? This wouldn't buy a glass of water in this place. Doozer! Uh, for Monsieur Lescago. <laughs> hey, what's the big idea? These snails aren't moving. You're absolutely right, JP. If I were you, I'd send them back. Good idea, man. Let's see the mirror mail. Frank and Tyke, no! Oh, that's the last straw! Frank and Tyke, this is a fine restaurant. We don't throw things. Yo, heads up, Teach. Hey, Gilman. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Holy oh, fight! Don't even think about it. Ugh. Hey, they trashed our teacher, man. Let's get him. It's retreat time! This is all your fault, you, you barbarians! Ow, ow, ow. Don't worry, we were just leaving. Well, look on the bright side. At least we didn't have to pay. But poor Mr. Schneider's birthday dinner was ruined. Hey, that's okay. I'll settle for an Alamo burger over at Snakey Pete's. Oh, yeah. 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 A burger? Great! 
Yes, I'll have the Alamo burger, please. What are you doing here, Rattle Brain? All the burger joints in all the world, we had to walk into this one. What are you doing here, Doozer? Right. As if Cleo hasn't clued you in already. Shh, I didn't tell that. Okay, I know when I'm busted. So I borrowed your dinner money to buy the dress. Our money? What dress? The one I wore to the fashion show, so I could win the cash to buy under Schneider's dinner, but the dress got ruined. And you couldn't get the money back, right? It was all my fault. I shouldn't have given Doozer the money. Get a life, Cleo. I'm the guilty party. And I'm going to be slinging burgers in this joint until you're all paid back. With interest, of course. <laughs> interest? Maybe I can interest you in this. Columbus. Cereal? Now? I'm trying to discover America. But as part of this complete breakfast, Honey Nut Cheerios blends golden honey and crunchy nuts. Honey and nuts. Oh, boy, boy. What a taste I've discovered. Columbus missed America, but you could help him find it with this map and these exciting rough downs. Three with specially marked boxes of Honey Nut Cheerios. There's something new in Gotham City. It's Batman. Like you've never seen him before. Figures and vehicles sold separately. Why well, he does, Batman. My tech shield suit protects me. Even against this sludge, your poison can't hurt my tech shield suit. Bye, Batman. Think again, Joker. Bye, Batcopter. Fire! Get him! Ah, where does he get these great weapons? You're finished, Joker. Tech shield Batman. Batcopter and Joker sold separately. Part of Batman, the Dark Knight collection. It's nothing new, but it's for me. Chocolate when it's a Hershey bar. Oh, Hershey bar. Some things are perfect just the way they are. The taste of chocolate when it's Hershey bar. The great American chocolate bar. Back to our show. Hey, kids. One of your favorite rap groups has a new show on NBC. So get ready to rap with Kid and Play. Coming up next, only on NBC.
Hey, kid, how's it going, man? Listen, you told me to trust you on these auditions for our opening act, man. You were talking a whole lot of trash look, yesterday. Look, 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 I know what I said, and believe me, I got some of the hottest talent out there. Believe me, I picked it myself. Well, come on. Let's so see you it. know that let's, hype. Let's get going. All right, let's see the first one, please. Something you gotta tell me, right? What? What? These people are musically incapable. They're not too talented either. Responsible person, and the shock was just too much. Sorry, I'll be okay. I'm just so happy to know someone up there is really listening to my prayers. I understand, son. Sit and pay attention. Yes, sir. Son, a responsible person is a sensible person, someone who knows what's going on around him, no matter what. A responsible person isn't easily distracted by frivolous behavior, but instead keeps on course, knowing what to do in all circumstances. A responsible person always has both feet planted firmly on the ground. Whoa! Kids, just what are you doing? Who, who, who's this? Well, don't you recognize little Adrian? Little Adrian? Your assistant Karen's baby? The same. He's getting big, isn't he? No kidding. But what's he doing here? I'm babysitting for Karen while she goes to night school. She's just dropping him off. Oh, there he is. Honestly. I turned my back for one minute to use your phone, and Adrian toddled out of the room. Well, uh, he is at that age. <laughs> no kidding. Taking care of a baby is such a big responsibility. It is? How big? son is probably the biggest responsibility in life. I had a full head of hair before I raised you. Now look at me, bald as onion. Man, it is a big responsibility. Karen, you don't suppose I could take care of Adrian for you sometime? Oh, uh, sure. I'm always looking for a good babysitter, but can you handle it? I think it would be a good thing for kids to do, a responsible thing. Yeah, a responsible thing. OK, great. How about tomorrow? Tomorrow? Well, gee, that's kind of soon. I, I'm not ready. Kid, I'll teach you everything you need to know tonight. All right, kid, let's get right down to the hard stuff. Changing the baby's diaper. Whoa! Isn't he old enough to do that by himself? No! 
Now, even though he's dressed, we'll still practice on Adrian himself. Take the diaper, and as you do this, you say a little rhyme. Left corner, right corner, bring him to the spot. Up, left, up, right, now time in a knot. Hey, that's gotta be. On a rap scale from one to ten, I give it a six. But are you sure you did that right? Mm. Well, maybe they don't make diapers the way they used to. All right, cool, cool. Will you get going? Hey, hey, no problem. Uh, okay, okay. Right. Right, right. Okay, left corner, left corner. Right. Thanks. No, you're wrong. It's right corner after left corner. Oh, oh, okay. Right corner, bring him to the knot. To this spot. Right, right, to this spot. Up, left, down, right. Up, right. Up, right? Up, all right, now yeah. give it all you right. got. I'm in a knot. Dad? If he's got a headache, no problem. If he wets his pants, problem. Okay. Now I keep the diapers over here. He's gone! Uh oh! This is the worst part of babysitting, chasing after the baby. Get him! <laughs> Or make something break. You run through the hall up and down the kids fast. I know. Let's surround him, head him off at the pass. Damn. You go the other way, I'll chase him down. We'll surround the clown before he runs out of town now. I almost got him. It's the end of his route. Now, I got you, little Adrian. Hey, Dad, look out! Oh, Dad, what do we do now? We're gonna have to break open the door to this closet, and it's gonna cost me a fortune to get it fixed. Brings the Flintstones and Jetsons together? A whole new line of great candies! Like these Flintstone gummies, yummy gummy candy, and fun Flintstone shapes! You sure look handsome, Fred! And more cosmic candies! And lots of colors and shapes, with a taste that's ahead of its time! Hey! Astro really goes for cosmic candy! Like Dino goes for Bedrock Pop! Oh no! Wilma! Hanna-Barbera cartoon candies at a store near you! They'll make your mouth laugh! The Quiz Kids Challenge, Monday night at 7.30 on 11 Alive. I walk her forwards and backwards too. So go my walking path, I love you. I walk you go, go. I walk you go, go. Everybody's talking about the way I'm walking. Go, go my walking pup. Go, go my walking pup comes with her own leash, brush, and ribbon. Batteries not included. What's up, Sugar Bear? I think something new is cooking with Super Golden Crisp cereal. Mmm, mmm, it tastes better than ever. Time to rock and roll. This should shed some light on the subject. Look! Sugar Bear! Mmm, more golden coating makes an extra yummy sweet taste. Let's go for a spin. Yum! Mm. Now more golden coating makes Super Golden Crisp the honey delicious part of this nutritious breakfast. Second? Yeah! that I needed her help on my own art history report, so she's gonna come with me to the museum. But well, listen, you better have a good plan to soften her up, because she's still pretty mad at you. How can you tell? Trust me, I know my sister. Later. Later. Yo, where you been, man? What is that? This 
is Mr. Adrian, and he's gonna make me look like Mr. Responsibility. Kid, <laughs> you're either crazy or brilliant. Hey, go, Adrian. I go, I go, I go, I go. And here I go. What are you doing here? Why, Lilo, what a surprise! I, I was just letting little Adrian here soak in some culture. Uh, it it's the responsible thing to do. Oh, whose pretty baby is he? Well, he belongs to my dad's assistant, Karen. She leaves him with me because I'm so responsible. Adieu, adieu, adieu. Well, how to do to you too, Adrian? All right, hey, check out my main man here. Don't need these people be responsible. Kid, you know, I have to admit, seeing you this way, it makes you seem a lot different. Leela, it's all because of what you said. Here, bro, take over. <laughs> Leela, you were right. I was irresponsible before, but now I'm a changed kid. I've learned the true meaning of the word responsibility. Uh, uh, hi, baby. Nice, baby. Ugh. Hey, kid! Yo, kid! Hey, kid! Come back here! Take this, baby! Okay, all right, all right, baby. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, put you down. Okay, here, let me see if kid left you any toys in here for you to play with. Uh, here's one. What? Uh, hey, hey, you, baby! Stop! <laughs> Yeah, don't make me chase you. You are the catch and boy, would I hate you. Mess up a painting or something, cause if I have to, I'll trade you in for one of these here statues. In a museum, I'm running, where did you go? I thought I just saw him. Oh no. Help, help. Did anybody see him? He's hiding somewhere in this big old museum. Yo, baby. Yo, Adrian. Come on out. you join me today? Actually, we'd love to join you play, but we're getting a bit. Uh, Marika, uh, downtown, uh, yo. Yo, play. Nice daddy bear. Oh, uh, why, uh, <laughs> what a surprise. Uh, what, what brings you here today? We're doing our art history report. Tell me, play, do you bring your teddy bear here every week? Oh, uh, no, Marika. Not every week. Uh, I mean... Yes, Play. You uh, won't tell anybody about seeing me this way, will you? Oh, only the kids at school. The kids in the neighborhood. You know, just everybody we know. Oh, that's too bad, too. See you later, Play. Bye-bye. Yeah, later. <laughs> Accepted my apology and she'll go with me to that dance this weekend. She thinks I'm a responsible person now. All my problems are solved. Not all your problems. Here. Oh man, how come Adrian's so wet? Yes. Uh oh. Yeah, you got that right. <laughs> no problem. I know just what to do. All right, play. Help me out here. We gotta change his diaper. We? Oui. Uh uh. Oh come on. Oh. Left corner, right corner, bring him to the spot. Up left, up right, now time in a knot. Kid, this is no time to rap. There, now we've done it. No, now we've done it. I go, I go, I go. Hey, stop, don't go. Oh, it's no use, the diaper's too tight.
Cakes in honey, cinnamon, and chocolate. They're the ones I love today. Teddy Grahams are here to stay. The Fisco. Bubblins with lockets, too. Mine is detail. So find the butterfly. Beautiful Bubblins. Bubblins dolls are Bubblins lockets and dolls. Each sold separately with everything you see here. Back to our show! Yo, play. I said I was sorry. Hand me another ice pack. Kid, sorry isn't enough. You nearly got us killed. It's a good thing Adrian's carriage rolled to a stop in that basketball court. Yeah, but it is too bad we ran into that telephone pole. How's your head? Oh, well, it's been better. Ow. Yeah, 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 what it is, what it was, what it looked like, boy. Yo, guys. Yo, where's Herbie? What's up, y'all? Big news, boys, I just got a call from the manager of Yo-Yo's. Yo-Yo's? The most happening new rap club in town? You got that right, boy, and they want kid and play, and the non-stop dancers to play there tonight. Yo-Yo, yeah! Why not put a mango play in there? They got sick. Why didn't they get clutching dipstick? The van is broken. Salt in the wound? They're too mean. Roach and spider? Too small an act. Chico and the frog? Spoon and doorknob? Kid and play. They want kid and play. What do you say? Yes! Oh. Yo, 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 boys. What about little Adrian? Oh, man, that's right. I can't leave. I promised Karen I'd watch him all night tonight. Kid, this is our big chance. Now, we can't miss this gig. But I have to watch Adrian. I promise. I know. Let's take him with us. Really? Yeah. We can sneak him into the club, and somebody can keep an eye on him backstage. I don't know about that. I mean, who can we get to watch him? Somebody we can trust. Somebody who's mature and responsible. Right. Now, remember, Harry, Kid has counted on you to take care of Adrian while we do our set. Look, Harry, whatever you do, don't let Leela know Adrian is here. Don't worry, kid. The girls are in the dressing room way down the hall. Boy, so yours is ready for us to go on. All right, come on, Dukes. Now I'll be right back after our number. Bye, Adrian. Listen, listen close to what I say This here's something funky And it's rock by Ken and play Don't worry about the message Cause that's really up to you The hook is kinda catchy So I know you'll like it too Just step out on the dance floor And be sure you bring a friend We're gonna rock your butts out there Until the party ends And if it's too hot You got to take it to the top You and me can rock around the clock Until we finally drop I said baby Yeah, but at least we got 
Adrian. Harry? <laughs> I can't talk now. Agents run away. I can't find them. Harry and the guys are looking for him. I came home to call police. <laughs> oh, kid, you're such a kidder. Stop fooling around. You know that Adrian's right here with us. Adrian! Oh, Leela's done a great job taking care of him. Leela? She told us how you had to go help a sick friend and left Adrian in her care. I did? You did! Son, for once you acted responsibly, and I'm very proud of you. Well, Gee, thanks, but... And I want to thank you for all the help you've been babysitting these past few days for me. You're welcome, Karen, but I... Oh, we all think a lot of kid, especially when he does the right thing. Well, come on, Karen. It's time for me to drive you home. Say goodbye, Adrian. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, bye-bye, Adrian. I, I just hope you grow up to be a responsible person someday. Well, all he has to do is take after you. <laughs> bye. Bye. All right, bye. Where was he? Marika, downtown, and I found him back in your dressing room. Oh, Leela, thanks for covering for me. Kid, what was on your mind? You left a baby backstage at a nightclub with only a dog to look after him? Well, I, I... No, you lied to me. You lied to Karen, you lied to your daddy, and if I hadn't stepped in and saved your goofy hair, everybody would be mad at you right now, all right? I'm sorry. I, I just wanted you to think I was a responsible person. I, I guess I kind of got desperate and messed up bad. Kids, look, from now on, don't prove to me that you're responsible. Just be responsible. Get it? Yeah. Got it? Yeah. Good. I gotta go, too. Uh, Leela? Yeah, kid? Will you still go with me to the dance? Hey, look, I promised I would, didn't I? And I'm gonna keep my promise. It's the responsible thing for me to do. You dig? I dig. Later. Cinnamon Toast Crunch on TV. Wendell? Cinnamon is a thing. Oh, What's cinnamon. The right amount of sugar. Sugar? Oh, what a crunch. I'm getting hungry. He's totally into it. This crunch is part of this complete breakfast. Wendell? Oh, Wendell's girl, Cinnamon's a crunchy crazy. I'm back. Uh-oh. Without Wendell, we can't make any more Cinnamon Toast Crunch. What? Well, let's look at the board. How will they get Wendell out of the TV? You can find out. One magic rescue screen free in specially marked boxes of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's NBA playoff time, and there's only one place to turn for the inside story on who's hot. Get the inside stuff today on NBC. Come on, man, fess up. All right, all right, I went to the movies last night instead of trying to get us an opening act. I mean, I know I promised, so I just got anybody off the street I could find. Yeah, don't even sweat it, because I expected this, and I prepared for it. Hit it. Just give me reason to love. Well, what do you think? I think she'll do fine. Just fine. You know my style. Go ahead, babe. Invincible, producing. They wanted to know if the kid could get 
on a mission. Rhymes cut like X-ray vision, man. Just listen to the competition stumbling. As the bass start rumbling, MCs reps start crumbling. To pieces, the feel the beat, earth releases. Outside the hotel line of pieces. No need to rehearse. Kid and play coming in first with a bang, a blast, and a burst. The Quince Five Lovable Babies you get all at once. Quince, Quince, five times more fun. I love taking care of each and every one. They're all hungry. Don't worry, they have a bottle for five. And a crib for five, too. I love taking care of all of you. I love you and you and you and you and you. Each set of five Quince comes with bunting and bottles. Other made-for-five accessories sold separately, new from Tyco. Watch me trick Fred. Greetings from the future. I gotta bring back something super chocolatey. Take my cocoa pebbles. Mmm, cosmic cocoa taste. Time to go. Morning. <laughs> history, Fred. Pops Pebbles cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. Do you ever have a delicious? Dinosaur alert! Five dinosaurs have disappeared from downtown bedrock. Only you can find them. There's one free in each marked box of Post Pebbles cereal. and ribbon. Batteries not included. Oh, petite ponies, my littlest ponies, you're this little, but I love you this big. Now there's royal petite ponies and a royal pony palace with carriage, bed, and throne. When a pony rides the elevator you push, the lights come on in the royal palace. Oh, petite ponies, you're this little, but I love you this big. 
The Royal Pony Palace comes with everything here. You put it together. Batteries not included. Pony assortment sold separately. Save you from another episode of Boogie the Dancing Pig. It's really boring anyway, because this week Boogie learns to vogue. What? Yeah, right. Well, anyway, no, I'm just we thought you'd like to listen into this don't spend intellectual much money. discussion Number about one, girls. Don't spend much money, because well, you just met her. And when in doubt, lie. But yeah, that's it. That's, that's it right there. Don't, don't I have to, like, like pick her up, meet her parents, take her to Make the movie? Her drive. No, 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 no. Do all that. Just don't spend much money. <laughs> yeah, wait, 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 your tummy with honey nut cheerios wouldn't you rather have the taste of golden honey and crunchy nuts mm, part of your complete breakfast Naturally nutritious with that unmistakable Hershey taste. <laughs> Hershey's genuine chocolate drink. Back to the intellectual discussion. I can't make it. If you drive, drive, she pays for the gas. Look, you see, yeah. Eddie here has this date with Binky Burkhardt, who he believes to be the ideal woman. Our theory is there must be something wrong. There's always something she can word up on that. I'm telling you, she's gorgeous, and everyone says she's got a great personality. Mm -hmm. Tilt? That's the magic phrase. What? It's that personality thing. If people always say that every time something's really, really wrong. Like, uh, she's an axe murderer. But she has a great personality. Or she collects human heads. But she's got a great personality. <laughs> Look, you know what? I can't wait to tell you guys that you're idiots. Marco, we're dating. Something's very, very wrong here. Wrong here. Wrong here. Wrong here. I am wrong so here. completely jazzed we came here. Because this is like my baby stroke. And they have these amazing teeny tiny macarons that they serve with ice cream. And they're just so amazingly teeny tiny. But they're really good. Jennifer and her brother are meant to become like total club kids. You wouldn't even believe it. And then I called Jennifer Thursday. And you won't believe it. She put me on hold to call Tiffany to see what she was wearing to the cootie club Friday night. I mean, I was totally burned. Where'd you get that shirt? I got one just like our Spencer when we were going together last summer. But don't worry, like, I'm totally over him and everything. Besides, he has this really mondo icky habit of biting off his fingernails and seeing how far he could spit them. I mean, it's totally disgusting, and I couldn't even believe it when he did it at dinner at my uncle's house. But I kind of understand, because I used to bite my nails before my dad put me in therapy, and my therapist said I had this anxiety, because I didn't have a major credit card of my own. And all my friends did. Because, of course, Cricket Franklin let me borrow hers. It was never really the same as having, like, a gold card of your own. Wow, well, I can't believe poor Binky Burkhart. Her parents wouldn't even get her a gold card of her own, and she's, like, almost 17. I mean, isn't there an abuse hotline for something like this? Which reminds me, if Stephanie, Tiffany, Jennifer, and Stacy come to my party and I don't have the pink outfit in the window at no moment, I'll die. I mean, I'll simply go, I can't believe I don't have the outfit. So I'll simply have to die. You know, you never see me in pink, but my dad and Mark, my ex-boyfriend from two summers ago, will, like, look at me and go, wow, Binky, you look just like an angel. But I don't mean that bragging at all, because I'm not the bragging type. And now, let's drop in on the stunt family. Come on now and give me a hand, will ya? <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi, sweetie. 
Come help me set the table. Your father will be home any minute. Great. No greeting for the old man? I'm sorry. Hi, dear. <laughs> How was your day? Great. Hey, Dad, you want to see what I made in shop class today? Absolutely, son. Great. Does it work? Excellently. Not until after we eat. Dinner's on the table. Right. How about a pop, gang? Sure. sure. <laughs> oh. Oh, <yeah. laughs> Lucky. Wait, where's your brother? Woody! Coming, Mom! <laughs> hey, yo! Oh, great turkey loaf! Woody, Woody, you skank a manic! Don't sit on a detonator! Family next week when they shop for China. I'm bumming, man. Can you won't return my calls? Hey, have you tried this one?
Hey kids, Isabel Trua from Chicago is the grand prize winner in Jeffrey's secret word game. Thank you, Toys of Us and NBC. Stars Barbie doll, friends, and sports club each sold separately. You put club together from Mattel. Now listen to me, people. I got something to say. There's a new brand in town, and it's coming your way. Check out the fiber, iron, and nutrient soup. Everybody's gonna say what got into you. New Iron Kids Red. The taste is really the best. New Iron Kids Red. Better than the rest. New Iron Kids Bread from Colonial has the great taste kids love and good stuff the kids' body needs. New Iron Kids Bread, here's what we say. New Iron Kids Bread, try it today! We do more than 20 magic tricks with Super Doe Magic Show. You can pull a Super Doe rabbit out of a magic hat. Just take Super Doe and abracadabra. One ball becomes two. The box is empty, or is it? It's our lovely assistant, Wanda. Now we saw Wanda in half, and Alakazam. Put it back together again. Kids, how'd you do it? Magic! The Tyco Super Dough Magic Show comes with Magic Hat, over 20 tricks, and Super Dough from Tyco. Back to our show! My memory is excellent. Uh, there's only three things I can't remember. I can't remember names, I can't really remember faces, and I can't remember what the third thing is. The sweet snack all of America's been waiting for. It's new Milli Vanilli Wafers. If you love them on stage, you're going to love them with milk. Two cute guys in one delicious flavor. But which is Milli and which is Vanilli? Hey, who cares? They crunch and dance in your mouth and taste as good as they look. Milli Vanilli Wafers. Buy them now and get a free dreadlock in specially marked boxes. You're going to love them. Boy, oh boy, this beats Coney Island. your wallet and clutch your purse. It's gypsy time with Madame Lasagna. I'm a Madame Lasagna and I got some big bargains for you, baby. I don't want anything. Ah, look at this. Worn only once by my brother Luigi and I washed it two bucks. No, I don't think Okay, so. well, wait a minute. How about some powder snake teeth? Calcium with a real bite, huh? Give okay. them a lump for those no, things. No, that's oh, all right. That's... Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You got any warts? No. You want some? <laughs> Down. Maybe you got some romantic problems. Go ahead. Not exactly. Oh, I got potions in here. Oh, bat wings because love is blind. And if you don't like the wings, we got thighs. Tastes just like chicken. You'll love it. Wait a minute. There it is. Why didn't I think of it? This is it. This is going to change your life. What is it? Oh, this is incredible. I can barely breathe. It's just a poster. Just a poster, he says. This is Jennifer, the perfect girl. She comes to life. No matter what goes wrong, Jennifer is going to make you feel like a million bucks, and you can have her for just five dollars. Only got a buck. Sold. There you go. Great. Sales, what a game to be in. I'm Come to life. You. Yeah, right. Goodbye. Have fun, big boy. Chris, I love your hair. Whoa. Amy, can you help me out? Sure, which way did you come in? <laughs> Get out. Now let's ride with five of the toughest cowboys, uh, most fashion-conscious cowboys in the West. Yeah. Young Bun.
know you've all had enough. Yeah. I'm going home. I got things to do. But before I go, I want to tell you one thing. This is a $1,500 Ralph Lauren suede jacket. And it's completely ruined. <coughs> and none of us has had a new outfit in at least four days. He's right. We got to keep going. The gallery closes at six. What a roll and all the ball! Young buns. They can't act. They can't shoot. But they sure do look good. Now, what's behind the surprise door? I'm a shapeless mass, an empty follicle on the head of humanity, less than nothing and too worthless to cast a shadow. I'm the most odious of humans. Hey, Damon. Whoa, look at you. You look great. What, you've been working out or something? Are you nuts? I'm at my lowest low. My most victimized, vanquished, my most vainglorious, my most... Thanks, Damon. I got it. And now that you mention it, you do look a bit vanquished. So what gives? I have a date with Missy Meisman. The Missy Meisman. You know the Missy Meisman with the eyes the color of a fish tank with no cleaning system? You know that amazing green? Yuck. Suddenly I have no confidence. I have no self-assurance. I'm not cute and I'm having a bad hair day. You need her, don't you? I need her bad. Hi, Damon. Hi, Jennifer. You look incredible today. I do? I didn't remember you looking so tall and majestic. Majestic, really? Oh, very. And I love what you're wearing. Yeah, I found on the floor of my closet. <laughs> Damon, you're so funny. Be careful. What? You'll steal my heart away. I am sort of yummy, aren't I? I'd say as perfect as a guy could get. You're right, Jennifer, I am. Thanks a lot, you cheered me up. My pleasure. Hey, it beats dumping money in a shrink. I feel short. <laughs> Are you tired of calling those 976 party lines and talking to perfect people that make you seem like a loser? Well, now there's the dweeb line. That's right, the dweeb line. You'll talk to real lamos who have a way of making you feel great about yourself. I can't go out in public because... because my nose bleeds. <laughs> I like to do things with my parents. Talk to four, six, up to eight dweebs at a time. I guess you could say that picking my nose was my hobby. <laughs> I had these allergies. <coughs> Hold on. The Dweeb Line. Call 555-DWEEB. The party line that lets you hang up feeling almost cool. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Hi, it's me, Sandy. I don't know if I can go out later, but how about if I call you, okay? Bye.
Gee, honey, that's tough. Those guys out in Hollywood don't know the real thing when it's right in front of them. I don't know what you mean. You just stick it out, Sue, baby. Keep going around to those casting offices. I'm sure you'll click. <coughs> that's the stuff. That's what I've been wanting to hear you say. Girls are happy. The first thing I notice about a girl is how good looking she is. I like girls who are sarcastic like me. I like a personality. Manners are very important. Make sure no boyfriends are around. Blondes, brunettes, or redheads. Um, I prefer all of them. Nice, flowing, natural hair. The depth of the eyes. Well, I just think it's kind of nice to hold, hold the door open. I like girls that are genuine and sweet. A girl that likes to go to the outdoors, that likes to be rough and tumble, play in the park, wrestle. <laughs> Did you know that because of man-made gases like those found in aerosol cans, the precious ozone layer that protects the Earth is being eaten away? Give us all a break. Can the aerosols. You can save the world! Women, quite a puzzle. Our moms always tell us someday it'll all make sense. I don't see how. Women seem pretty complicated to me. And we'd all like to sit around and think about it, but uh, actually we just lost interest. Yeah. Hey! Let's go bowling, huh? No, no, walk. Sure. Hey, who wants to drive? I'll drive. Oh, oh wait, 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 let's walk, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, and don't anyway. forget, help save the world. Petite ponies and a royal pony palace with carriage, bed, and throne. When a pony rides the elevator you push, the lights come on in the royal palace. Oh, petite ponies, you're this little, but I love you this big. The royal pony palace comes with everything here. You put it together. Batteries not included. Pony assortment sold separately. Oh, I use too much magic. Oops. Now all the colors of me marshmallow lucky charms are mixed up. Hope you kids have figured out the right colors. Got it! It's pink hearts. Orange stars. Yellow moons. Green clovers. Blue diamonds. Purple horseshoes. And red balloons. Oh, thanks for helping me fix me lucky charms. There's nothing like them. Especially when they're the back to normal part of our complete breakfast. Mm -hmm. As good as ever. marshmallow -y delicious. And gonna stay that way. Water pets are fun in and out of the tub. Yep. Water pets. Each sold separately from Play School. up on Saturday morning videos. It's the cast of Saved by the Bell with rockin' videos from new kids on the block, Debbie Gibson and Janet Jackson, next. That's play. I'm kid. So sit back and kid play in the Saturday morning videos. <laughs> he says we're gonna have a great time this morning. On Saturday so morning videos. Pull up a bowl of cereal. Some Saturday mm -hmm. morning videos. And enjoy yourself. Mm -hmm. On Saturday morning videos. It's gonna be great. On Saturday morning videos. And we'll be right back. On Saturday morning videos. Pretty much wrapped it up. On Saturday morning videos. It's hip. It's hype. It's totally ripe. It's Saturday morning videos. With this week's host, rappers Kid and Play, and a different world, Sinbad. We'll have a pick hit from MC Hammer, plus his latest rap discovery, One Cause, One Effect. You'll meet artist of the week, Phil Collins. 
And cowabunga, dudes, it's a broadcast premiere video from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. In this week's music news, you'll see exclusive footage of Sean Lennon paying tribute to his dad, John Lennon. We'll have an award-winning classic pick from AHA, headbanging heavy metal from Slaughter, Pebbles giving you the benefit, and our top ten video countdown. And now, Kid and Play and Sinbad. Hey, man, we're back. Sinbad, we're sending that video. Hey, man, I want to talk about your show. What's the show you got happening, man, on Saturday morning? Well, it's called Kid and Play. Uh, it's a oh. cartoon series starring my partner and myself, and uh, it kind of tells the story of what it was like when we were growing up, uh, where we come from, and little things we went through, and how it shaped us into the people we are today, you know? How did y'all get y'all show? Well, um, I don't know. How did we get our show? Because <laughs> I don't have one, nothing, and, and I grew up and stuff. Oh, well, you're, a big, you're a big television star. I, I didn't there, get no Saturday yeah. morning show. That's what I wanted. Really? You yeah. want to switch? No. I would like to, I would like to switch. I like you get some hair like you too, not like him. I want some hair like yours. <laughs> now I'm just playing, man. You got some nice hair too. <laughs> the Saturday morning videos. We'll be playing the next video called Nappy Headed Food with No, I mean that's <laughs> no, that's a different video. <laughs> Let's show some videos. Oh! <laughs> What's up, Sugar Bear? I think something new is cooking with Super Golden Crisp cereal. Mmm, mmm, it tastes better than ever. Time to rock and roll. This should shed some light on the subject. Look! Sugar Bear! Mmm, more golden coating makes an extra yummy sweet taste. Let's go for a spin. Yum! Mm. Now more golden coating makes Super Golden Crisp the honey delicious part of this nutritious breakfast. Second? Yeah! Here we have Slimus Pursuitus, an amphibious creature by nature. Slimus is easily observed in coastal wetlands, often in the company of lesser organisms and always wearing Levi's jeans. To the untutored observer, this species may appear somewhat disgusting, but to the scientific eye, they are in fact very disgusting. <laughs> 